Hi, I'm Mike Santora, Associate Editor for Design World Magazine. And today we are in Fairport Harbor, Ohio at JM Performance Products, where they manufacture over 500 different styles of patented retention knobs. Today specifically, we are going to learn about their high torque retention knobs. And to learn more about that, I am here with Robbie McKee. Robbie, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming out. Okay, Robbie, so can you tell me a little bit about what specifically makes the high torque retention knobs unique? I can. This is a standard retention knob. There's a pilot and then the threads begin. These threads engage in the tool holder at the very thinnest part of the tool holder. What we found is when that occurs, there's an expansion of the tool holder. Mm -hmm. That expansion stops the tool holder from going all the way up into the spindle. So we took that knob and redesigned it. We have the pilot, it's a precision pilot, and then there's a relief. That relief forces the first threads deeper into the bore of the tool holder. We cut these threads to start and finish 180 degrees to each other. The knob is dynamically balanced by design. But because these threads are deeper in the bore of the tool holder, we eliminate that tool holder expansion. So what are specifically some of the benefits uh, for your customers with going with this type of retention knob? Well, they're immediately going to see a change in the way their mills perform. There's going to be less vibration and chatter. There's going to be longer tool life, less run out, better finishes. They're going to see much longer tool life, a lot less wear and tear on the spindle. They should also see their load meters drop. So overall, they should have a cost savings just by changing the retention up. It's a very small investment for a very, very, very large benefit. So, Robbie, do you have any data on measurable results when your customers go with the high torque knobs? We do, and this is regardless of the industry, whether it's automotive, aerospace, medical. It is somewhat dependent on the materials being used, but we expect our customers to see 15 to 40 percent increase in tool life. You should see 10 to 40 percent increase in actual productivity. That's more parts per existing equipment because you can increase your speeds and your speeds. Your boring is going to be dead on, so that means that your, your boring tools are going to have a longer life. Regardless of the industry you're in, if you're using CNC mills with V-planch tooling, you're going to experience an immediate increase in rigidity, and that is going to increase your productivity. Well, Robbie, thank you so much. Uh, now we're gonna toss it over to Craig Fisher to learn a little bit more about some of the tech specs for the high torque retention knobs. So now I'm with Craig to learn a little bit more about how the high torque retention knobs are actually made. Craig, can you tell us about the processes that are involved with creating one of the retention knobs? Sure. This is uh, our Precision Mazak Hyper Quadrex. Uh, it's a machine, um, multi-spindle type machine. It has twin turrets, multiple tools, uh, bar feeder for loading the stock. Um, it's designed essentially for um, touch at once machining where it actually goes ahead and runs the threaded side of the knob on one side. Uh, once that side is done, it will transfer it over to the other side, cut it off automatically all by itself, uh, go ahead and start machining head side and thread side concurrently, and then once that part is done, the robot will come in and grab the part on this side, bring it out, drop it into the conveyor where the operator can grab it. Cycle will automatically continue. Once the uh, bar cycle is completely done, it will automatically load a new bar, drop the remnant in, continue on machining just as normal. Pretty much go until the bar stock runs out, the operator, all he has to do is keep on loading bars. I think, I think some people would say that's a lot of precision for this type of component. So what are some of the benefits of, of manufacturing it in this manner? Well, with this particular machine, like you said, it, it is overkill. I mean, it is a machine that's uh, for a lot more complex parts than a retention knob. But yeah. when you only have to touch it one time and one machine does all the um, machining of the whole part, the tolerancing and can ever be held much closer. So, um, and then once we're done with this particular part, all we do is, because this one has a hole, we paint the hole, it goes right to heat treat. 
nobody else touches it. So there's no chance of any other um, wrong tolerance being done or anything else that might cause the park to be bad. Well, thank you, Craig. Uh, would you mind telling our audience where they can find out more about JM Performance Products? Sure, they can visit our website at jmperformanceproducts.com.